Hey everybody, Pierre Marquette 1223 here with uh, the third and final Vesta um, to be presented by me on YouTube. Uh, this is the tall or the high top New York Central Deets Vesta that I've been anxiously waiting for for a while. The Great Blizzard of 2011 greatly delayed its arrival. So, I'm glad that it's finally here. Uh, I'm just going to go over the details of this thing. And you probably notice that the burner is a, little, is a little too shiny for this lantern. I'll get to that in a little bit. But first, uh, get to the details of this thing. Uh, as you can see, it is a little more... It does look a little bit more beefier. Meaning that it like, looks a little bigger. The base has... Uh, the base is in good shape. Uh, it's got the double guards on here, which is typical of the older high top models. Some of the later ones did not have those guards. Um, it says the full New York Central on the lid and Dietz Vesta up there. Little ding there in the paint. Uh, I mean, overall, it's, overall the frame is in really good condition. It's a Corning Globe made in USA. But here's one of the real reasons that we that we got this thing. Uh, it's for the globe. And, I mean, there's one other one on here, but they're probably not the most common embossing in the world. You look at it, the whole thing says New York Central on the globe in, like, some old, old style lettering that, that uh, I think is really, really cool looking. Um... It is very similar to the embossing that would be on a Dietz number no. 6 Railroad Lantern Globe, which is what most of the New York Central's uh, embossings were like for those. Uh, I'm hoping to one day get one of them. They're not the easiest, they're not the easiest to obtain. Put you back in the tripod here. Uh, I'll take out the globe here for some further inspection. You do have to some this one doesn't latch the best So when you push it so when you latch it you have to push down on it when the globe's in it uh, We do intend down one time get it um, in time eventually getting this one uh, Bead blasted to get all the paint and stuff off of it because it looks like it'd be pretty good underneath But here's a close to the globe again See it clearly says New York Central with no defects in the lettering the bottom and the top are really good. It almost this thing almost reminds me of a little tiny version of a number uh, 39 globe, but it. But I can see why the modern day glo the reproduction globes that Dietz makes would not fit in these. These globes look like they're possibly a little taller and they're different shaped. Whereas you look at a newer Vesta, the globes are more rounded. This one here's got a lot of straightness on it, and whatever. But. Uh, you get close to this lamp, I mean, everything's, everything's good and whatnot. I can hear a little bit in that tank there. I'll get, I'll get to where the tank came from here in a minute. But, uh, to take this thing off, it's just the same exact thing that you do for it the other one. I'm going to latch the lid, though, so it doesn't go flying everywhere. There we go. Stay in there. I bet you when the paint comes off, she'll latch a lot better. Uh... The burner is twisted this way and pulled down. It doesn't fit. The knob has a little trouble. And then uh, you probably, and then uh, here it is. This is the one that I got in here. Now, I do have the original burner and tank, but there's a little funny thing about it. Uh, now, I have the original tank and burner right here, which is here they are, which here they are. There's the cone, there's the burner, and then there's the tank. Now I'll get to why we had to replace these. The cone, of course, has been painted, but that's not the reason. It's still pretty good shape. The, uh, the burner had a very, very dry rotted wick in it that had rusted as well as rotted and was really messing up the burner but uh, my dad sprayed some penetration oil in it and she freed whoops and uh, she freed right up turns really good now but the reason why was because 
the burner. Apparently, they didn't mention this in the description, but it looks pretty good. Looks good. Looks good. Oh, right there. It's how small, tiny hole is in there. You can see right through it in there too. Uh, those are just shiny spots in there from previous oil, but. Uh, just judging by the condition just of that hole, if we were to solder that area but then get it blasted, it probably would not hold up. So we got a partial refund for the tank and burner. Now, uh, I'll be, well no, actually never mind. This makes you, now you're wondering where this one came from. If you didn't see my little update to my one, uh, most, to my last Vesta video, the Vesta, that Vesta is now for sale on eBay. Uh, if you also too want to try and buy it outside of eBay, I'll be willing to try and uh, see if we can make a deal on it. Uh, but I'm just selling it without the burner. The burners are real easy to get, get at certain times. There's one on there right now for five bucks with the whole bank tank and burner combo. But parts for the Vesta are actually somewhat valuable because the fact that they're not made anymore and nor can they be because I mean except for the globes on these anything can be replaced just about but the Vesta molds were destroyed nearly over 60 years ago when Dietz shut down their America when Dietz uh, ended production on the Vesta they were destroyed Except for a globe, except for a later style globe mold, and that's the only thing that survives. It's an old Corning mold. You can get those replacement globes off of Dietz's website. But uh, there's so that means parts for Vestas, tanks, burners, cones, whatever like that, are actually pretty valuable. So we're of course we're gonna ditch the tank in this thing, and there's really no use of keeping it. I don't think it's really worth repairing. Uh, and then we're going to put the burner and cone combo on eBay. And uh, then we're going to sell it. Because the burners are worth anywhere from 5 to 10 bucks a piece. Which is pretty good. Uh, so. Afraid one day I'm going to break this thing doing this. But. Uh, see? Right there. See? That's, how, that's why it doesn't latch very well. The glow fits in there, just the thing doesn't latch very well, and I think it's because the paint on here is holding the wiring back. Uh, so yeah, I mean, otherwise, but otherwise the thing's in really good shape. Uh, from just looking at some of the parts that came off of it, it might this thing might contain two layers of paint. Uh, a black one, and then underneath there might be a silver layer, just because on some of these parts, like inside the cone here. Got some silver paint here on the bottom of the burner. You got some right here, and on the tank, you got some all around the edges right here. So, uh, so yeah, I mean, and two, I mean, you can just they easily go together. You're probably, probably gonna offer free shipping on it to make it better. But the burners and everything, they just uh, you put them in here, line up with the hole, push down. You hear that snaps because there's these little tongues down in here. If you can see a couple of them, there's there's the one right there. But there's four of them in there, and that actually no, there's three. And that holds that burner down there, so when you pop it out, it just kind of comes right out. And they latch pretty good too, so no fear of them uh, coming off the cone. So yep. So we're just gonna ditch the tank, sell the burner, see if we can make a couple bucks off of it. But otherwise, that's. That's about it, but uh, coming up next, I'll have a comparison video between the high top and low top Vesta models. 1223, out.